it's Mona and I'm here to do another get ready with me um, today is my um, family reunion on my dad's side and um, so I'm gonna try to look extra special and uh, if y'all hear like a clicking in the background that's the timer because I'm cooking my pork loins uh, we take each take a meat, a side, and a dessert, and we eat a buffet, buffet style. So, if you hear that, that's what that is. So, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to put on my Queen Helene, 100% cocoa butter. To moisturize my lips. Next, I'm going to go ahead and use my Nivea Men's Post Shave Balm. As my primer, if you haven't tried this, you really should. It's totally awesome. Now you just let it get tacky. already ready I'm going to use my Maybelline dream liquid mousse in the color porcelain ivory with my eco tool stipple brush just gonna put a little out on my hand Or a lot rather <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and start putting this on if I if you see me look in this direction it's because I'm looking in the mirror as for this foundation I really like it so far Sorry, I went out of frame. Okay. Got that done. And next, I'm going to try something a little different. Um, I had purchased this Sassy and, Sassy and Chic Color Corrector CC Cream. And I did a review on it, and I did not like it at all. But... The main reason I didn't like it was because it was way too light and this was the only color they had. So I thought, hey, that's really white. So why not try to put it under my eyes as an under eye brightener. So that's what I'm doing.
try it, y'all. Might be a big mistake, but... I never want to admit defeat. <laughs> I want to make it work somehow. Okay. So I'm going to blend this out with the same brush. Always does this every time I do a video. Okay, that doesn't look half bad. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with some Maybelline wait hold up no 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 Match Perfection by Rimmel and this is in the color Fair and I'm gonna do a little concealing I'm going to prime my eyelids with this NYC City Proof 24 Hour Eye Primer. I'm just going to put it on my lid and blend it out with my finger. going to go ahead and do my bronzer and my highlighter and do my brush. So grab a couple brushes. I'm going to bronze first with this Tantastic Face and Body Baked Bronzer by Milani. This stuff is Extremely pigmented, but it's beautiful. I'm going to use my little angle brush. Just contoured it, you know, a little bit because this is pretty bright. I hear my dog scratching in the background. I'm going to go ahead and bronze up my uh, temples and my forehead. Just give my face a little color. Next, I'm going to go in with my blush. This is the Wet n Wild Color Icon in Pearlescent Pink. Oh, goodness, it's 
not open. Y'all know me and my packaging not being opened. But that was fairly easy to get open. So, I'm going to go in with this Estee Lauder. It's a powder brush, but I'm going to use it for blush. It's a pretty blush. Really pretty color. I really like it. I'm going to go ahead and highlight with this uh, e.l.f. Shimmering Facial Whip. And it's in the color Lilac. Just put a little on my finger. And tap it across my cheekbones. And blend it out with my finger. Gives a nice little sheen to this side. It's not too overpowering, it's just kind of subtle today. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead with some. Of the Rimmel Stay Matte Long Lasting Pressed Powder. I like to be matte and I like full coverage. So I'm just going to go ahead and take the same brush that I used for my blush, dust it off on this towel, and I'm going to go in and apply some powder. Set the under eye a little bit. T zone. Chin. All fifteen chins. Done. Next, just moving right along. We're going to go ahead and start working on our eyes. I'm going to go ahead and take this Wet n Wild Color Icon Shadow in Boule and I'm going to lay that down all over the eye as my blending color. This is like the perfect blending uh, shadow. Just perfect. So I'm going to go in with this Wet n Wild uh, brush. It doesn't say what kind it is, but it's fluffy. I just got these at the Dollar Tree and they're awesome. Then I'm going to use this CoverGirl Quad, and it is in the color <laughs> Well. I don't see a name. It's just I am answer. Hmm. Doesn't say a name. Let me open it. 
I know I told you in my last video I was going to have all these products open before I started filming. I truly did not mean to lie. I thought I had sat down in here the other day when I put together my everyday basket and I thought I had already opened these. But, alas, I was wrong. So, here we go. It's open now. Whoops. Okay. I'm going to go in here with this color as my transition color and I'm going to lay that down in the crease. I'm just using this little elf, not elf, this little wet and wild brush here. I'm going to use that color to blend everything out. <laughs> grab another brush. This is the one I want. And it's an e.l.f. eye contour brush. So next, I'm going to go ahead and take this burgundy color and put it all over the lid. Then I'm going to add this color here, this dark gray, just to the outer V for a little contrast. Next, I'm going to go ahead and buff this out. Looks okay. Let me do this one. They look pretty good, smoked out. Just a little more blending on this side. Yeah, I'm liking that. And then lastly, I'm going to go in with this highlight color here. And put that up under my brow bone.
but so that looks really nice. Ooh, those are my chair creaking. Poor chair. Okay, so then I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of powder because I had uh, the slightest little bit of fallout. was a quick maneuver with my toes to pick up my little sponge applicator that came in my shadow one. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty swift, huh? Y'all didn't even know what I was doing. Okay, next, I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows. This is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Brow Pencil in the color Brunettes Do It Better. So, it's just a little sharpened a little stick that you sharpen on this end and then it's got a spoolie on this end and I really enjoy it for my eyebrows Smooth my spoolie. Do I have this? Do a head. I'm gonna go ahead and do this eye. Spooling. Sorry, I'm out of focus. I'm out of out of the camera. What do you call that? Out of frame. I'm out of frame. Just had a little extra little bit I had to do. My eyebrows are not accommodating me today. But they'll do in a pinch. So next I'm going to go ahead and apply this pencil to my waterline. It's the LA Colors Jumbo Pencil in the color Seashell. to make my eyes look a little more open. Then I'm going to use this CoverGirl Perfect Point Plus in black. It's a retractable eyeliner. I'm going to use this for my lower lash line. Okay. 
like that. Next, I'm going to do some mascara, and I've got the Super Sizer by CoverGirl, favorite mascara. I really like the little wand, it's so different. Okay, that's done. And the last thing is lip liner and lipstick. So I have this uh, Rimmel eyeliner and it is the, actually I just fibbed, <laughs> it's the L'Oreal color reach in the color oh my goodness I can't even see that at all. it's this color <laughs> I smell my pork one it smells really good I love that color and finally I'm going to use this L'Oreal lipstick in the color 620 mica I love the color of this lipstick. So there it is. <laughs> the completed look. I think it looks okay. It's good enough for the boys I run with. Anywho, I want to thank you all for watching. If you like these types of videos, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you have a channel, I will subscribe back. Love to all. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.